Hello, I'm Gigi and welcome to my Galactic Kitchen, the place where you find earthly plant-based recipes mixed with a taste of cosmic love. In one of my previous videos, we went through the alternatives for replacing eggs, cheese and butter in your diet. Today, we're going spoonfuls deep into the cheese replacement by making butternut squash mac and cheese. The recipe I'll be using today is from this cookbook by Food52. The original recipe isn't gluten free, so for today's bonus, I'm going to show you how you can make it gluten free. For our sauce, we need a butternut squash, avocado oil, arrowroot, nutritional yeast, blend of spices, fresh garlic, lemon juice, tahini, almond milk, and coconut milk. To mix with our sauce, we of course need some pasta and some fresh veggies like broccoli. And to top all that, to keep it gluten free, we're going to add some chopped walnuts and cornmeal. To get started, the first thing you want to do is get your squash chopped up. Whoa! Toss your squash with a little bit of avocado oil and salt and pepper. Now pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. Once your squash is in the oven, now's the perfect time to get your pasta cooking. Next, you can also start your sauce base. First thing you want to do is add your avocado oil and let it heat up for about one minute. Next, add your garlic. Let it saute for about two to three minutes. Once you've got your garlic sizzling, add your coconut milk and three quarter cup of almond milk. You also want to whisk in the nutritional yeast and arrowroot. Cook on medium heat for about five minutes till your sauce starts to thicken up. Once thickened, you want to remove from heat. Once your sauce base is cooled, add it to a blender. You also want to add the rest of your almond milk. Also add lemon juice, your spices, tahini, quarter cup reserved pasta water, and last but not least, your squash. We're going to go ahead and give all that a good blend. Whew. All right, time to assemble our dish. Don't forget to add your toppings. So here we have it, our finished dish. Deliciously dairy-free and gluten-free. You know, sometimes life throws a curved comet or two at us just to make sure we're still paying attention. While you can't control everything that goes on out there, what you can't control is what goes on in here and what goes in here. Leave me a comment and let me know how your dish turns out and how your plant-based journey is going. Stay weird and well and see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Check out more of my videos for other plant-based recipes.